Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I really wanted to do a double book review because both of these books are books that I really wanted to do a full review video of and they have very similar themes. So one is Here to Stay by Sara Farizan and it comes out today and or I think it will be today. It, will, it comes out September 18th, I believe that will be the day that this video goes up. And the other one is A Very Large Expansive Sea by Tahiri Mafi which comes out on October 16th. And basically, um, these books, I really do think that if you like one of them, you will like the other one as well, most likely, because they are very similar in nature. Um, they both follow a Persian main character who becomes the victim of a hate crime. Uh, that That is kind of like a school-wide thing. It's not like anyone gets shot. It's not like the hate you give where the whole city gets involved. It's just a school-wide dealio. And things happen and just they deal, they both deal with, um racism, Islamophobia, um, just the kind of crap that uh, people have to go through sometimes. Um, I would also like to preface this by saying that I am half Persian and that is why I really wanted to read and review both of these books. And how, uh, while I am not Muslim and I don't wear a hijab and I am very white uh, looking, so, because I am half white, but anyway, so I have not experienced uh, racism and whatnot to the uh, extent that a lot of people do. However, at the same time, I kind of did in a way because I know that when September 11th terrorist attacks happened, um, my mom was profiled by somebody and, you know, my mom doesn't sugarcoat anything usually. She, you know, tries to tell us what's going on. So Here to Stay is about a boy named Bijan and he is half Arab and half Persian and he is, um, and he kind of decides to help out some of his friends with a petition to change the school mascot because the school mascot is a gunner and that some people in the school are just not really sure that a guy with a gun is really the best mascot and so they're petitioning to change it to something else and he kind of says, well, okay, I mean, I guess I can um, help get some more signatures because I'm sure some more students agree with this. I don't know. And then a an email goes around to like everyone in the whole school that has him photoshopped onto a terrorist photo and it says, hey, it's our new mascot. And um, so it sparks this whole thing that he just wants it to like blow over, but the parents, like his mom and like all the other parents and whatnot just won't let it because it's a problem and it's bigger than just him. And Sara Farizan's uh, books all, they always just give me this gut-wrenching feeling about, you know, because really nice likable characters are put into these horrible situations and it just makes me like my heart grows in my throat with suspense when I read her books and this one was no different it is so good um while it does not center around queer girls like her previous two books did there are actually two queer girls in this so that's really great there's a lot of diversity overall love interest is black and um his um uh, Bijan's best friend is half Japanese and he has two moms, all kinds of stuff. It's a really great book and I loved it. A Very Large Expansive Sea by Tahira Mafi is about a girl named Shireen who uh, is a teenager right after the terrorist attacks happened on September 11th and she's kind of growing up in that era and she is Muslim and wears a hijab and gets picked on all the time for it and so not only does she try try to not participate in anything school related that isn't absolutely mandatory like homework um, and going to class. Not only because she moves like every year but also because um, she doesn't want to draw attention to herself because every time she does she just gets picked on and she can't make any friends. But then one day she falls in love with this dude at her school who's just this nice normal like he's this really nice guy but he's white and he's just like some 
some popular guy at school and they really like each other but they can't be with each other at all because the whole school gets all involved in their business and even his basketball coach like corners her and says break up with him now because otherwise I'll kick him off the team and I'll get him expelled and it's just a messed up situation all around. So both of these books really examine what it means to be a uh, Middle Eastern American in either era, either today's world or back when the terrorist attacks happened. Um, there's really no difference because I mean they're both very timely books in today's political climate and really I think a lot of people need to read these books because they both really examine um, they both really examine what it means to be like white privileged or um, what people really go through because I think a lot of people really have no idea and especially this one has some really great quotes in it about white, white, white privilege because um, there's even a quote where Ocean, the love interest, says that he had no idea that people could be like that and uh, Shireen has to point out to him that uh, the bigots and racists and everyone were, were always there. He just didn't see them because that's white privilege. And then this one also has a lot of really amazing quotes about um, kind of what people's perception is of Middle Easterners and what, you know, how much they have to go through to not give people that perception. Both of these books are absolutely fantastic and you should seriously go and read them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have read either of these books, if you have any thoughts on them, etc, etc, and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!